Hey folks, how's it going? This is Wadge. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we'll be doing a direct head-to-head -head battery comparison test between the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and the iPhone 6S. So if you're interested in seeing which phone will give you the most battery performance possible right now, I've taken the liberty to test both of these two smartphones for a couple of days now. And I think I came across a pretty good answer for some of you guys that are interested in seeing which smartphone will give you the most battery performance. So if you're interested, keep watching and let's find down. Now looking at the core specifications on the new iPhone 6s, the battery capacity has actually been lowered from the previous generation iPhone 6 to about 17, 15 milliamp hours. And uh, the Apple claims that that shouldn't really affect battery performance at all. In fact, they say that the uh, new iPhone 6s should actually have better battery life thanks to the hardware and software optimizations of uh, the new platform. Now, in terms of the charge time, it takes about 140 minutes to get from zero to 100% charge, and it has no wireless or official fast charging capabilities like we see on the GS6. Now, the GS6 Edge actually has a little bit bigger battery life than the standard Samsung Galaxy S6 by 50 milliamp hours. So you're looking at about 2600 milliamp hours and it takes about 68 minutes to go to zero to 100% thanks to its fast charging capabilities. And as we mentioned before, you have wireless charging capabilities for both PMA and Qi standards. Now, typically the first thing that I like to do to test out the battery is just do a couple of uh, video loop tests. So I basically put a video on a uh, loop on both of the devices using the VLC app. The screen brightness is set to 50% and uh, we basically turn off the Wi-Fi and figure out how long each phone lasts before the screen goes blank. Now the results are over here. Our uh, iPhone 6S got about nine hours, 31 minutes, which is a slight improvement from the last generation iPhone, but not by a huge margin. And uh, the uh, GS6 Edge got about 10 hours, 37 minutes. So we still find an advantage on the Samsung S6 based on the video playback features. Now moving forward, we're going to take a look at a Geekbench 3's battery life uh, test. And uh, basically, we're going to, again, set the uh, parameters identical on both phones. So screen brightness is going to be 100% maxed out. We're going to connect to the same Wi-Fi networks so we can upload our results once they're actually finished. And we're just going to run it, come back in a couple hours, and see what happens. And as you can see, here are the results over here. We got about 7 hours, 14 minutes on the GS6 Edge. And the iPhone 6S got about 3 hours. 27 minutes so a pretty big discrepancy between these two the poor old iphone 6s has a really hard time with his benchmark but luckily when it comes to everyday real world use the 6s is definitely up there with what you expected from the previous generation with perhaps a 5 to 10 percent boost in terms of battery performance based on my personal experience after a couple of days of using the iphone 6s i got about 14 hours of use and based on very similar usage habits i got about 15 hours comparatively on my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. So at this point, I do have to say that the iPhone 6S is kind of disappointed when it comes to the battery performance. Not really a huge difference from the previous generation iPhone 6 that a lot of people actually struggle with, especially if they're heavy duty users. They use their phone on a very consistent basis, which most people do these days. And unless you're charging the phone on a fairly consistent basis, you're going to have a hard time with the iPhone 6S to get throughout the day, especially if you're a heavy duty user. Now, for those of you guys curious on how the iPhone 6S Plus did on the exact same test, definitely check out the video right now where we do a comparison against the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. That was a pretty cool video that I think uh, you, some of you guys out there should definitely check out if you haven't already. But really, other than that, guys, that's really it for this video. If you're interested in a dedicated speed test comparison between these two phones as well as a camera test, you'll find all those videos in the description down below as well as the full-on comparison that we have up on the channel. But that's really it. Definitely give us a like if you like this video, and we'll see you later. Take care.